Now we can open this motor profiler. And if we try to connect, we might get this firmware error message. It means we have to reflash STM chip. Now we can connect this STM chip by clicking this connect icon. And then we have to choose this correct firmware for this chip which is located inside this ST motor pilot folder. Here we have this full path for this hex file. And after that we can click the start programming. Now we have to disconnect this software and probably we have to restart all these softwares too before we can connect this chip again. I reconnected the USB cable of this STM chip and now I'm restarting this software. And now we can connect this. Now we have to set this ball pairs, max speed and max current. And after that we can start profiling this motor. If profiler is taking a lot of time, it might be that the current is too low and we have to set current higher for profiling the motor. This motor is 3D printed and it's unbalanced, so it's making some noises. After this motor profile is done, we can open this motor control workbench. And from here we can create new project. And if you are using your your own power supply, you have to click this inver inverter only. Now we can click this motor and we can copy these numbers from motor profile.
after setting motor we can generate this project Clicking this generated will create new C project which we can use in STM Kube IDE and we can program STM chip there. Generating this project will take some time and I'm gonna fast forward this video now. After generating is done, we can open this folder and from here select this STM project. Now it will launch this STM32 Kubi ID. So here we have this new de demo project which was done. Here we have this main.c function. So you can program your own functions here too, but I'm just gonna use this default. Now we can flash this chip by hitting this run. And this will take some time and I'm gonna fast forward this video too. And from here we can just click this OK. Now it will flash this STM chip and after flashing we can open motor pilot. And if we can't connect this board now, we probably have to reconnect USB and disconnect this software and restart this. And now it is connected to the board and we have this new firmware uploaded into the board. And we can try to spin this motor from here and if we got this error we had to click that act false and we can start again. And now it's spinning the motor 